Hey, what's going on everybody in the Jason Nation? My name is Jason and welcome to kind of a different video. Today we're going to be covering something that is not necessarily, uh, well this is somewhat video game related actually, it does involve a special event coming up soon, but we're going to be primarily focusing on the new Hoopa movie that is supposed to be coming out later this year. Now, um, as it says from... Uh, as it says from on this article that I'm reading on, it's on Serebii. I will leave a link to the website in the description. It should just be on the homepage. That's where Serebii always keeps the newest info and stuff like that. Um, so you can go ahead and check out some of the images that will be uh, shown on screen as well. You guys can go check it out. I'm not sure. I think I'll, I'm obviously able to show these because it's on the internet. So I should be good to go. But um, the Hoopa movie is set to release somewhere in 2015. Now, this is in Japan, so, um, obviously we're getting it this year, which is good, but it's gonna be released in the summer of 2015. So this upcoming summer, this movie's gonna be released in Japan. Um, as for the American and European and Canadian release, I don't know about that too much yet, but it's most likely going to be somewhere near the end of 2015 or early 2016. That's usually how long it takes. Could be sooner than that, I'm not sure, I'm just guessing. Um... But judging from previous experiences like this, I can only imagine that'll be the time where uh, the movie will be released and fully dubbed in English and all that. Now, what's important here is, as you can see some of the screenshots that we're scrolling through here, we're going to stop on the one, uh, actually the two that really caught my eye. Um, because originally I just looked at these images and I didn't think much of it, but then I read some of the uh, information above the pictures where it states, you know, what all these pictures are of and what it explains. Because it's all in Japanese, these are Koro Koro scans, so you can't exactly read this unless you speak Japanese. Essentially, when the Super Movie does drop, I believe it'll probably only be a Japan event only, but there's obviously ways of obtaining uh, these Pokemon without living in Japan. I'm going to take a wild assumption and say that this, um, these events are going to come along with the American release of the movie as well, so people in America can pick those up if you don't have like a friend that can get one of these or one that can gen the Pokemon in. There are methods and ways of obtaining these special event Pokemon, but uh, like I said, you'll have to either wait and see if you can get one uh, from one of your buddies or whatever your method of obtaining it is. But when this movie is released, and I believe from what I read it is once you pre-order or once you buy your ticket for the movie, they're going to be distributing these Pokemon. So right now, there's going to be a couple screenshots that are going to just kind of go back and forth on the screen. Um, and I'm going to kind of briefly run over what some of these Pokemon have. As you can see here, the Pokemon that they're going to be giving away are Giratina, Kiram, Kyogre, Dialga, Palkia, and Groudon. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth with um, why these Pokemon are being distributed because I have my own little theory that I'm going to get into in a little bit. So let's move on to the moose sets that some of these Pokemon are going to have. Um, you can also take, uh, from, what I, from what I've seen, you can take your DS to uh, like uh, stores like GameStop, Pokemon Center, um, Toys R Us, 7-Eleven, anywhere that they would distribute events like this via Wi-Fi connection. You can go ahead and go there and obtain your mystery gift, which is pretty cool. Now, um, also, 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 they're going to be available from June 20th to August 31st, so I'm guessing you actually maybe will be able to get these in English further upon reading this. I didn't read that part. You may be able to get English copies of these Pokemon. I'm not sure. I, I will cover more information about that closer to the time of the movie's release and all that. I'm just letting you guys know. Um, but let's move on to what I was going to say. So all the Pokemon will be level 100. Giratina comes with Aura Sphere, Draco Meteor, Shadow Force, and Iron Head, and it's holding the Grissius Orb so, you, so it can change forms. Kiram comes with the moves Glaciate, Scary Face, Draco Meteor, and Iron Head, and holds the Life Orb. Kyogre has the moves Water Spout, Thunder, Sheer Cold, and Ice Beam, and holds the Choice Scarf. Palkia comes with Earth Power, Aura Sphere, Spatial Rend, and Hydro Pump, while holding the Lustrous Orb. And Dialga comes with Metal Burst, Overheat, Roar of Time, Flash and, uh, and Flash Cannon, uh, with the Adamant Orb. And then, of course, Groudon comes with Fire Punch, Solar Beam, Hammer Arm, and Rock Slide while holding the Choice Band. So as you can see, all the Sinnoh Legendaries have their respective items to help them, you know, power up their moves or, in Giratina's case, change its form, um, whilst the other ones are all Choice. Um, now, one thing that I want to mention and I want to bring to the attention of you guys is if you go ahead and take a look at this screenshot right here, you're going to notice that you, you can see um, Hoopa coming out from the sky and through one of the rings you can see Palkia coming out, Groudon coming through the other, Kiram's in the back there, but you'll notice that they're all coming from portals and that's the part that really makes me um, believe that this could be 
uh, something potential like a 4th gen remake. Now that may sound a little bit crazy, and I know a lot of you are probably going to be like, there's no way they're going to remake 4th gen. However, I have had this video idea for in my mind and written down for months about a 4th gen remake. And I'm not going to go into any details because I don't want to spoil anything um, for when that video does release. It's still in the progress of being made because I want this video to be a very detailed video. Um, so it's still in the process of being made. But if you guys are excited for hopefully seeing that video somewhere in the next week to two weeks, I'm going to try and aim for getting this video up. Make sure to demolish that like button for me. And if we can maybe... If, I, I say if this video happened to break, um, I'm going to set like a decently high goal here. Um... If we could break 100 likes on this video before the end of April, wait, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so in about two and a half weeks from now. So if we can break that like goal before the end of April or um, anytime sooner, like I said, then I will have that video at the same day we break that like goal. That'd be pretty cool if we could do that. Um, but I'm not going to go too much into depth about that video specifically. But I want to let you guys know that there is definitely a plausible idea behind having a 4th gen remake. And especially because you can now see that there's Pokemon like Dialga and Palkia and Giratina all coming into play with Hoopa. And I have a very elaborate theory on how this could all work. But like I said, I can't go into too much detail about it. But as you'll notice some of these screenshots, you'll see um, some kind of teasers for the movie and all that stuff. And you'll kind of see that you can have either... There's probably going to be a good Hoopa and there's probably going to be a bad Hoopa. And I feel like the Unbound Hoopa is going to be the main antagonist of the movie. And then the regular Hoopa is going to be the main protagonist of the movie. Um, because it do I don't think regular Hoopa is evil. I think it's only the... Um, Unbound version of Hoopa. Now, if, if you'll see one of these screenshots here, you can actually see a image of Hoopa standing over Ash, and you can see Hoopa's pretty damn big. Like that that guy's a monster. He is one hell of a big mother trucker. Um, so I didn't actually see that in size comparison, but that he is pretty uh pretty big. Um, but anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about for you guys right now. Um, towards the next Pokemon games release, which we'll probably be hearing more about around May, that's usually when we start hearing news about the new games um, that are going to come out in the, during this, ga this uh, gaming season, uh, is usually around May and June when E3 and all that starts up. So um, I'm going to definitely make sure to keep you guys updated on some of this stuff. I don't want to focus my channel too much on news and stuff like that, but we will be doing more of this kind of stuff in the future um, because I do like covering the upcoming events that are happening within the Pokemon world. So, that's going to be pretty awesome. If you guys are excited for that, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, join the Jason Nation. That would be pretty awesome. And um, that is all I got for now. So, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you did enjoy, feel free to hit, like, hit the like button down below for us. That would be, uh, that'd be absolutely awesome. I can't talk today. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.